Thank you, Johnny. How you doing? I'd like to remind some of you people that uh, at this point in the show, we have turned on the camera thanks to Miss H, so this conversation is going on your permanent record. I was not here. Don't worry, everything I'm about to tell you is a complete fabrication. It's, it's a work of fiction. It's a freaking story, you goomba! Thank you. That's what I'm working on. So as far back as I can remember, this place, it's amazing. Right? You like this place? It's a nice place. Well, you know, you know why it's here. Do you know? See, back in the of course you didn't do it. I didn't do it either. See, back in the day, there was this guy, he's named Big Al. You probably know Big Al, Big Al Biscali, right? Big Al, Big Al's in charge of the north side, the south side, east side, and west of central. This is his turf. Don't want to mess with Big Al. Big Al's world got so big, got so beautiful, that he had to have a little help with the paperwork. So he hires this guy named Henry. Now Henry's your typical desk jockey. He's not one of us guys, but he's worked for enough of us guys that he's basically in like Flynn. Know what I'm saying? So there he is. Turns out this guy's got a hobby on the side, likes to tinkle the ivories. And by that I mean piano. These are things to specify. So there we was, working every, every day, and on his days off, he's playing piano in a little club. Big Al gets the, the like in this guy, and he thinks, maybe I'll send him over to St. Mary's, let him play the piano, teach kids a little charity work. And that's where he meets the kid. He meets this kid. This kid is nothing but freaking trouble, make no mistake. This kid is trouble, and these two connect, and they are thick as thieves. It's like the brothers from Nada Mother. Next thing you know, they're going to the movies, motion pictures, a little theatrical arts getting put in their heads. They watch, uh, what's it called? Uh, Lone Ranger and his Indian friend, you know what I'm saying? They're watching that, they go watch every week. A couple of bucks, eat some popcorn, watch the films. Watch Flash Gordon. You know Flash Gordon, right? That's science fiction. Not like there's uh, Dr. What's it in his box, right? <laughs> now around here, we got enough people in boxes, we don't need that. Time goes on. The kid becomes a young man. It becomes clear he's going to end up uh, getting kicked out of St. Mary's. And so Henry decides, Henry says, I'm going to take one of my old suits, send him down to Louis Chang. Now, you know Louis Chang, Southside, best tailor in town. You go see Louis Chang, you need a nice suit. So he sends him, and they cut the suit, and he looks, he looks pretty good. Looks like he meant to do that. And he gets invited to the supper club where uh, Henry plays the piano. There he meets Big Al. Big Al says, who are you? The kid says, um, uh, and Henry steps in and says, this is my brother. Well, you know, Henry, Big Al go back. That means this is family. No problem, right? So this kid's in. Next thing you know, he's running packages. He runs a package, he goes away. He runs a package every week. He gets to come in. He gets to see uh, singers like uh, the famous Mac Blackjack, that guy. Amazing talent. Gets to see uh, dancing girls, which occupy a lot of his time in later years. A lot of his time. Really most of his time. <laughs> then he saw some freaking clowns. Those guys just freaked him out, so he just ignored them. As time goes on, he blows right past Henry, and guess what? This kid grows up to be a man who is the right hand of Big Al himself. As Big Al's getting up in years, he says, I need a guy you can trust to run the west side. The kid says, I can do this for you. He says, okay. He says, I got one rule. That supper club I told you about, you gotta keep it running. No matter what, you gotta keep that club running because it's important. It's where we do business. Sure, there's acts there, there's theater there, but in between, that's where the people go. That's where we get together. Spend a little time. Maybe a little deal going on in the back right now. Maybe a little justice going on outside later tonight. Tough to say. I'll give you a little spoiler. Those of you who are new around here, you're standing in that club right now. You look around, you're surrounded by made guys. You already met Johnny, yeah? Tommy J on the wires, Brittany Pigeon running the strings, Miss H, Frankie Stiletto in the back, my personal bodyguard. Don't let the distance fool you, she's good with a knife. The whole gang's here, every single one of us. For the same reason, same as you. Have a little fun, have a good night. Me, my name is Doug. That's Mr. Graves if you don't know me, and Doug if you do. And if you're not one of those two people, what the hell are you doing here? I have no freaking idea. But you want to know who I really am? 
I'm the kid who got too busy doing this to learn to play the piano. Welcome to Speakeasy. Thank you.